Raiders, Chiefs, Chargers. Which of those three AFC West opponents, rivals of the Broncos, scares you the most? Based on the, the little you might have seen through the preseason Chargers. so far. I watched really? the Chargers game the other night. They're, you know, the Chiefs are getting all the call. The Raiders, we know, are improved, but they're not good enough. They're not ready. Their card needs still some more seasoning. They need some more players. They need some more athletic kind of bodies out there in Oakland. Jack Del Rio, get them up to five or six games. Uh, should I be afraid of them during the year? I might be afraid of them in Oakland because any division team on the road is difficult. Would I be afraid of them here, afraid of them for the division? No. The Chargers, Mike McCoy, Mark Kisler, a good guy that that we have on the show all the time, he, we kind of disagree about it. He thinks Mike McCoy is soft as a coach. Maybe, but he's gathering, gathering. It's a gathering wind, might be said out there. Of talent. They got yeah. a running back that's actually, I think, going to be on the field a lot more than the ones they've had. Yeah, Ryan Man the more than seven. Ryan Matthews. Yeah. Ryan Matthews was no Sean Marino light. You know, no Sean was hurt every year and then had one good year a couple of years ago. Matthews couldn't get on the field. Nah. Couldn't stay. He could get on the field, but he got hurt as soon as he got on it. In Philadelphia now, right? Yep, he's yeah. the backup to DeMar uh, DeMarcus Murray. So, uh, and they were so fortunate they were able to get Murray because uh, – Ryan Matthews wouldn't have been no. the star player there. Well, they've they also got uh, Darren. Uh, no, no, no. Who's the uh, Who's the kid that catches the ball out of the backfield all the time? He used to play with the Saints. Sproles, Darren Sproles. Uh, yeah. who I love. They've got him too. They're pretty deep at running back. Yep. If Ryan Matthews can stay on the field, I I'm going Chiefs. I I know you're, you're looking at me and saying you don't like Alex Smith. Why would you pick the Chiefs? I didn't have time. <laughs> <laughs> given uh, given like 30 seconds, I would have, but I didn't have time to think of all that. But um, Chiefs have been collecting a lot of good talent for the last two, three years. The one thing they are missing, well, they've been missing two things the last two, three years. Number one, an offensive line, and they're still having offensive line problems. And number two, they've got that guy at quarterback. That said, they do have another big weapon on offense in Jeremy Macklin. They do have a really good running back in Jamal Charles. Um, they do have a good defense. Yeah. They've got a guy that they paid over $100 million defensively. They got Barry back, which is a great story. Don Terry Poe will, could be available from game one now. He had a back problem. They thought he might miss a couple of games. He could be back. But I, and Andy, I, Reed. I, I, Andy Reed is a good coach. He is, you know he that. is a good there's, coach. There's, yeah. there's no denying that he's as good a coach as there is in the National Football League. But, but here, ultimately, is why... I don't lose sleep over the Kansas City Chiefs. Let me read this one stat to you. This is unbelievable. With Alex Smith at quarterback, Woodrow, the Chiefs are 11, 41, and 1 when the opposing team scores 20 points or more. They can't come back. They can't put a lot of points on the board. The Broncos can. And that's why, although the Chiefs can be scary, especially at Arrowhead, I don't think they're going to contend for an AFC West title. I just don't. But well, they scare so me more would, than the other two teams. More than the Chargers and Raiders. But you you're not putting, a big Chargers you, fan. That's what I'm saying. You're yeah. not you're not going for the Chargers. No. So. I think they're an eight and eight, nine and seven team. That's what I think they are. I, I don't Melvin Gordon, good pickup. Running back. Could make a big difference for them. But they just don't scare me. That game where they beat the Broncos, the only Broncos loss in the last four years in their division, the Thursday night game here, it wasn't because San Diego was so good. It's because the Broncos weren't ready to play that game. Don't scare me. Okay. That segment brought to you by Shanahan Steak. Why don't you tell people about Shanahan Steakhouse? Shanahan Steakhouse, I just said, made a comparison. I like Capitol Grill. Uh, great restaurant. But I, I'll tell you what, someone told me the other day, and you and I have discussed it. They yeah. said the side dishes are so much better at Shanahan's than they are the to other top flight yeah. steakhouses. I eat them and as my entree sometimes. If they just had, if if our friend Mark Sterren would just do a vegetable plate, you know, they do that at Black Eyed Peas and yeah. some other places, because I would go for that all the time. Their baked potato is the size of Idaho. Pun intended. Idaho's where the potatoes come from. It's like this big. It can feed three people. Those mashed potatoes, the corn, the spinach, 
the lobster mac and cheese. Mm. If you can't make a meal out of that and say, wow, that's one of the greatest meals. That's, that's not even taking into consideration that the bread is great. <laughs> make a meal out of that. The appetizers. Yeah. We just can't get to the desserts. So we can't really tell you about <laughs> the desserts. But we know this, and you won't get to the desserts either. I, you know, you hate to put down a restaurant's desserts, but we don't know anything about the desserts because when you get there, you go, nah, you're pushing away from the table at that point, and you're taking home. They, have, they probably lead the league in carry away boxes. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, no doubt. Because you eat the steak, and you've had the side dishes and everything, and you, everybody's thinking, I want to get the steak because I want to take that home and have that the next day. My daughter loved the, on her birthday, I took her there, and she went home, took the stuff home, and she got home and she ate the vegetables again that night. She couldn't wait till the next day to have the vegetables. Shanahan Steakhouse, make a reservation today to be experienced like no other, like the masters. Shanahansteakhouse.com.